Hi, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Um, if you're new or if you're returning, thanks for showing up. Um, I've got a big thank you note in the description box below as long, um, alongside some helpful links to different videos and things. Um, but we're just going to get right to your cards. Just kidding, we're not. Because I have to go get something. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's the deal. So your cards today, I pulled them when I was FaceTiming with my buddy Bobby at Be Still Intuitive. If you haven't checked out his channel, he's a great psychic. Um, but So I bring that up because you're going to get double insight here. Because I had these three cards together, and these two together make total sense to me. These two together make total sense to me too. But I couldn't figure out, like, for sure how they all worked as one. And um, now it makes total sense to me. <laughs> Two heads are better than one, right? Um, what it is, is it's saying, you know, if you believe, whatever you want, you can have it if you believe it, right? That kind of basic thing with um, law of attraction. Think about the things that you want and you can have them. Okay, so that's that was the first card that I drew. And then I drew the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in reverse. And this is like, stop, wait, don't make a move right now. You're not going to be heartbroken, okay? If you just pause, if you just pull back for a second, if you just take a second and you look at things and you get a grip, you won't end up being hurt, okay? So I thought, well, what does that have to do with this, okay? And what it is, is that maybe there's something you're trying to manifest right now and let's be real here, the last few weeks, um, or like at least the beginning of this week with that Taurus moon and stuff, it's been some bull crap for a lot of people, like all signs. This whole year has been horrible for a lot of people. So anyway, um, where I'm going with this is that maybe, you know, you have your belief, what it is that you want. You've been trying to put faith and hope in it, and now maybe you're feeling hopeless, okay? But it's saying stop. Pull back. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. So a good way to um, frame this, for example, in a relationship, like, I really want this to work. Like, we're really working hard on this relationship. And then you're like, you know what? Like, I'm just going to send that nasty text message, like, being a snarky bee and just be like, you know what? You can have yourself and blah, blah, blah. And it's over. Um... You know, to kind of protect yourself because you're, you're, you're afraid. You're being vulnerable. Like you're putting a lot of faith and hope into something. You're believing that it's going to come for you. And now it's starting to look like it isn't. Okay? But what this is saying is stop. Don't do it. Don't send that nasty text message. Um, because if you do, if you do go ahead and you do it, this is what happens. Okay? Like self-sabotage is maybe happening right now. All of the hard work that you put in, all of the investment you put into something... Don't give up yet. A lot of people quit right before they get to the finish line, okay? Um, and so now that makes more sense. So it's saying connect to your deepest inner knowing, okay? What is it that you know is right for you? What is it that you want? What are you trying to manifest? What is it that you're working on? What have you been putting your heart, your soul, all of this like investment of time and energy into? Like what is it? If you decide to keep believing in it, you won't be hurt, okay? That's what this is saying. But it's saying don't get in your own way. Don't, you know, um, throw up your hands and say, F it, I quit. Don't do that at work today. <laughs> today is not a good day to do that kind of stuff. Today is a day to just be patient, to be calm. You might want to, like, bring in this magenta ray, but also um, maybe a a white one too to kind of like calm you down okay and so that's why I actually had to run away and grab this um, this is where I keep my little book that has the daily affirmation in it for you for your magenta color and so I'm just gonna pull that up for you sorry I was not so prepared um, okay so you know like we said this is about connecting to your deepest inner knowing so about your own um, insight, your own intuition, like what's true for you, what's real for you, what's important to you, and um, the motivations as to why, okay? So um, 
Your daily affirmation for this one is, Divine Intelligence, please connect me to my higher self so I can receive the wisdom and guidance that can bring me to joy, love, and abundance. Okay? So for some of you, this is going to be job-related, um, money-related, home-related, because this is usually my card of, like, moving, like, moving home. It's like, don't move. Don't do that. No big dramatic shifts. This is also, a, um, like, new career, new jobs. It's saying, don't do that yet because you're not supposed to yet. If you do, you could be hurt, okay? So it's like, don't give up. Be figure out what it is that you believe, what it is that you want, and then just stay focused on it. it even when it's hard, even when you start to doubt, stay focused on it. So like a lot of you, this might have already happened for you, like on Tuesday, for example. Tuesday, total crap day. I'm not going to lie. The energy, all of a sudden, it just went funk, and it was like negativity and all of this stuff. Monday was rough. Wednesday felt a little lighter. And so you're like riding this high of Wednesday, and now here we are on Thursday, and you're like, you know what? Wednesday was all right. I was feeling good then. But maybe now I wasn't wrong in how I felt on Monday and Tuesday. And I'm not saying you're wrong about how you're feeling. Like, maybe things aren't working out exactly the way you want them to right this second. But maybe behind the scenes, they're lining up for you, okay? Maybe your angels are working on things behind the scenes so that things will go the way that you want them to. Later, it's just that they take time. So don't give up today. But, you know, be careful. Today is a good day to really watch what you're saying, what you're doing. Try really hard to stay positive. Um, and it's not to say that today is going to be a crap day, but it, what it is saying is like, don't self-sabotage, be aware of what you're doing, be very cognizant, um, be connected to your own higher self so that you know where you're going and what you're doing, and what the outcome is going to be. Okay. So that's tough. Um, especially in love relationships, um, especially at work, like it's Friday, you might just want to be like, you know what? screw it, like I made it through the week, like I'm leaving early and I quit. But don't, okay? See what it's like on Monday when you go back. Um, love and light, I hope that's helpful. That's a very specific message, so maybe it won't resonate for all of you. But um, if it does resonate for you, good. I hope you follow the advice and that it works out for you. Love and light. Bye.